Welcome back to Go Engineers YouTube channel. My name is Agustin Jimenez. This video is about terminal basics with SolarWorks Electrical. But before we get started, please make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. When working with terminals in SolarWorks Electrical schematic drawings, you really have two methods here. Uh, the first method is by inserting a terminal as a standard symbol from the symbol library. You'll go into your library as you normally would, select the symbol that represents your terminal, bring it into your drawing, place it, add your typical properties, uh, manufacturer information, things like that. And that will result in a symbol on your drawing with terminal information. Uh, you can pull that information into BOMs and things like that. Uh, our reports but that's as far as this method can take you as far as functionality there is another method here in SOLIDWORKS Electrical under the same tab the schematics tab there is a command for inserting terminals you can insert one at a time or you can insert multiple when you insert multiple like you see here uh, you draw a line and you place your terminals now this line uh, can be shown in the drawing. You can either turn that on or off with this option here. And the way this works is you uh, draw a line across the wires that you want to add a terminal on. Uh, you can go from top or bottom, doesn't matter. And then you place this arrow in the direction that you want your wires um, to be coming in and out. So in this case, they'll be coming in from this contactor and then out to this motor if I place it in this orientation. Now from here I can still specify my marks, any description, uh, manufacturer information, things like that. For now I'm just going to say OK. And now I have a new terminal strip uh, X6. Now from here there is some additional functionality uh, by using the terminal strip editor. If I come over here to this projects tab and I click on terminal strips, I can select the terminal strip in my project, then select edit. This will bring me to the terminal strip editor. You can also get to this editor by right clicking uh, any of these terminals, coming down here to edit terminal strip, and that will bring you to the terminal strip editor. There's quite a few commands in the terminal strip editor. Uh, first off, you can insert more terminals. If I want to insert one at a time, I can do so with the insert command. Insert several will give you this dialog box where you can enter in the amount of terminals you want to insert. I'll insert two more. Under the insert command, there's also the option to insert accessory, which is essentially an end block, and it will be represented like so. Now, if you notice here, I have uh, these inserted terminals. Since I had my Terminal 1 selected, it inserted these above. Uh, but you can move terminals around in the Terminal Strip Editor. If I want to select these here, 5 through the end block, I can select 5, then I'll hold Shift, select this end block, click and hold, and then I'll drag these and you see this red bar wherever that red bar is that's where it's going to end up so I'll bring it down to the bottom and move those like so you can also move one at a time you would just simply select click and hold and then same thing wherever the red bar would be from the terminal strip editor you can also add manufacturer information if I want to add the same part number to terminals 1, 2, and 3, I can come in here to the manufacturer column, manufacturer part column, and then I'll click and hold across these three, then right click, assign manufacturer part. And then in my library, I'll just search for the part number I'm looking for and insert that. And if I wanted a different one for this ground, I'll just do the same process and look for that part number as well. Now I have some wires represented here coming from the terminal strip out to my motor. 
if I want to represent this as a cable, I can again multi select, then I'll right click, associate cable cores. And if I have a cable in my library, like I do here, I'm sorry, in my project, then I can select those cable cores and associate them to my wires, like so. So now I can have that represented as a cable. We also have bridging capabilities here. And here I'm on both sides of the terminal. If I wanted to bridge uh, one and two together, I can click here, go across, right click, and then say create bridges. A great command here in the terminal strip editor is the generate drawings. If I click on this, what SolidWorks Electrical is going to do is create a drawing of this terminal strip for me that is now in my project. So if I double click on this guy, now we see I have an actual drawing of my strip. Uh, it's got my terminals, it's got my end block, the from to information. It even has the cable that I um, associated as well as the motor. It even has the bridge that I inserted here. And what's great about this is if we were to go back to the terminal strip and make an edit, let's say I want to remove this accessory, I'll just right click and delete. I can simply go back to my drawing, right click on my terminal strip drawing and select update terminal strip drawings. And there we see the change. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and leave us a comment below if you have a topic you'd like us to cover in a future video. Visit our website, goengineer.com, for access to professional training, upcoming events, and more from your number one online technical resource. Bye for now.